Thailand's ability to increase its wild tiger population rests on rangers like Prapat Mankong. A 20-year veteran, he remembers hunting for wild animals in the forest when he was young. He says that forest is now almost empty of wild animals. Prapat feels he needs to do something about it. Huai Ka Keng Wildlife Sanctuary is home to at least 80 wild tigers. Ten years ago, there was severe poaching here. Poaching is killing off wild tigers throughout the 13 countries where they live. Mostly, they are killed for body parts, which in some countries are thought to have healing powers. This tiger cub was found inside a suitcase at Bangkok's airport on its way to Iran. Traditional Chinese medicine practitioner Sun Jian says these days most practitioners do not use tiger bones. She prescribes herbs to cure ailments instead. But she says many still believe that tiger bones are the best cure for several ailments, such as arthritis, lower back pain, and impotence. Wild tigers also are imperiled by the loss of prey because of human hunting and shrinking habitats. Anakpatane Vibun, the Wildlife Conservation Society Thailand program director, says having abundant deer and wild pig will help increase the sanctuary's tiger population. And when we have enough tiger prey in this area, then you have tiger's uh, population uh, recover following the prey. Technology is key to Thailand's effort to boost the wild tiger population. Rangers use global positioning devices to determine where more patrols are required. For instance, in areas where there are signs of poaching or illegal logging. Every month, the rangers share information from their patrols. Here they found that poachers use insecticide in tiger bait. Chachuan Pitdamkam is the director of the government's wildlife conservation office. He says with only 170 rangers, they can contain encroachment into the 257,000 hectare sanctuary. The problem, he says, is that the forest crosses into Burma. It's useless for you to protect only for Thailand because the border forest is adjacent to our neighbor forest. If we try the best only in Thailand, I think not enough. He hopes the Tiger Summit in Russia will help spread conservation efforts across borders in Asia. This is Kate Pound Dawson for producer Pras Put, VOA News, Bangkok.